Hello everyone and welcome back to Zora's Tech. So yes, uh, I got another graphics card from the void that is eBay. When will I ever stop buying these? Um, yeah, so <laughs> I probably never stop. So here we have a GTX 560 Ti uh, 448 from like from MSI. It's it's their their custom version of the 560 Ti 448. And 448, why 448? Um, this is a special edition of the 560 Ti that uses the GF110 GPU, so the same that is used by the GTX 570 and also the GTX 580, whereas the normal 560 Ti would use a GF114 GPU, which is not this one. So this one is the same GPU that the top-end cards of the 500 series use. And yeah, it has the name 448 because it has 448 CUDA cores, which is 32 less than the 570, which has 480 CUDA cores, and the 580 would have 512 CUDA cores. So this is a little bit less powerful than a 570, but that doesn't really matter because this heatsink is really beefy and you can definitely overclock the card, even to GTX 580 level. So. Uh, what I'm going to do today is, of course, I'm going to make a teardown and then I'm going to make a short overview of the PCB. I'm not going to make a full PCB review uh, because I don't know which components are on here exactly and it's also not that easy to find out. And there's also going, there are other, pl uh, other plans with this card uh, which involves me not doing the uh, PCB review now. So. But now let's get into the teardown part. So, as always, we start with the four screws around the GPU core. And these are actually all the screws you have to take out for this card. The heatsink will come right off after you remove them. Again, I'm using the cross pattern to remove the screws because, well, come on, it's, it's just good PC building practice. You put less stress on your GPU, you have less of a risk to crack it even though this GPU is probably unbreakable with the IGS on it. So, now the coolers are ready. You can see it, it wiggles, so you can take it off. It's just as the, that the thermal paste on the giant GPU IGS has a lot of force, but you can get it off. So, there you have it. I'm gonna disconnect the fan cable. And here you can already see from the heatsink, these are a lot of fins with five heat pipes and uh, like this heatsink, it, it can take a lot. Um, I think it actually cools better than the ASUS Direct CO2 heatsink. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one. So here you can see the base plate that the card uses to cool everything else, like the VRAM modules here and our uh, VM MOSFETs here. Um, I'm also going to take that off now but it's going to be a pretty tricky part because the um, thermal pads that MSI used, uh, let's just say when I when I took apart when I took the card apart first to inspect it when it arrived, yeah, either it was me or it was just the thermal pads being old, but they were completely obliterated and it's probably going to happen again. Good thing is uh, that they have the um, that you can basically uh, squish them like play-doh so you can just push them into their place again and uh, yeah we, we'll, we'll see the, how good of a job i did so we have two screws at the back of the card which we're going to remove first And now we have a lot of screws on the back, which we have to remove.
So now we can remove the base plate and hopefully not break all the thermal pads. Oh, that's oh, that's not in, yeah. So you can see here uh, these are not in the best condition. Uh, there's also some pieces of thermal pad left on the MOSFETs right here. Um, this one is looking like this one here is looking okay. But the rest of the thermal pads, like, uh, yeah, they they work, but it's not like it's a good thing to look at. So, but now we have a look at the PCB of this graphics card. So, from what I can tell, this is the same PCB that a GTX 570 from MSI would use, at least from the VRAMs, I think. So we have 1.2 gigabytes of VRAM on here. This is also Samsung. All my family cards are Samsung. And then you have a 6 plus 1 phase for your VRM. You have 6 phases for vCore and then 1 phase for your memory. You also get a BIOS switch, which is pretty nice. I like those. I really appreciate it when there are BIOS switches on, uh, on these cards. This card also supports the same uh, additional uh, voltage settings that the lightning supports so when MS Afterburner picks up the card correctly you can not only raise the voltage for core but also for memory and auxiliary which is nice uh, the extra voltage for memory should help you a little bit with overclocking and uh, yeah I don't think it has memory and VRAM temperature sensors though but the lightning has those um, like this is not an extreme overclocking card like the lightning so you don't have your voltage monitoring points you don't have your uh, apart from the bios switch you don't have your on and off switches for all the uh, features you can tweak and this is pretty much just a decent pcb made by msi so yeah on the back there's not really something interesting like this is probably the uh, vmem voltage controller but there's nothing else really of no switches no no prodlizers on here um, yeah and that's that's pretty pretty much it for for the PCB again I'm not going to make a full t uh, full breakdown because I don't know uh, which MOSFETs these are so I obviously don't know uh, which RDS on rating the low sides have how much current they can withstand and um, yeah uh, but there's going to be a video that will clarify this, probably, because now I'm getting to what plans I have, or should I say we have, with this graphics card, because it's actually not for me. Um, it is a late Christmas gift, I would say, for my friend, uh, who made the RX480 Teardown video. It's not up anymore. He is. He wants to redo it. And uh, I, I talked about this already in the GTX 580 Lightning video. Um, yeah, like he, he also wants to get into a little bit above average overclocking, I would say. Like not immediately hard modding uh, stuff, uh, not even I'm doing that. So just, just a little bit cooling experiments and uh, slightly more extreme overclocking things. So, and this card will go to him. Uh, I bought this card with the sole intention to giving it to him. So he has a card that he can experiment with. Uh, it is a Fermi card. Uh, I have experience with Fermi cards. It's also a GF110, so it's basically a GTX 580 with less memory and a few less cores. And uh, yeah, I wanted this card because it has a decent VRM the stock um, PCB, at least for a 570. Uh, because actually this card was sold as a 570 and I only found out it is a 560 Ti 448 when I put it in. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it's basically a 570. You lose 32 shader cores, that's not that much. Um, so yeah, uh, at least the, the stock PCB for a 570 is a four phase and this is a six phase. So alone the VRAM is a lot better and um, yeah you also get things like the the BIOS switch and um, yeah the MSI afterburner support and 
other things that he can play around with. So yeah, uh, I will give him this card along with all the water cooling stuff that um, we want to play with. So he's going to he's going to get a, a, a big box including this graphics card, and he can then start modding it, BIOS flashing it, whatever, like the stuff I did with the DCU2. And um, yeah, uh, I think that's a pretty good card for that sort of purpose. Um, like you have your V-Core uh, voltage controller right here. Uh, it is a UPI part, but again, I'm not doing to. I'm not going to make a full PCB breakdown video because he's going to do that. Uh, he told me he wants to just like he's he redoing his RX480 video. He wants to make a proper video for this. He actually wants to write a script and and whatever. Like I'm doing my Telegram videos unscripted. Um, but he wants to to make a, a, a scripted video, and I just said, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead, uh, make your video. I'm not gonna uh, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna go ahead and make a video first. So yours is irrelevant. So I'm not I'm not doing the I'm going to do uh, the advanced PCB stuff now. So yeah, um, I also overclocked the card a bit already, but I'm also not saying where exactly it goes. Uh, memory I didn't really test on it, I only tested core. The ASIC quality is pretty decent. Uh, it, it overclocks well. Let's just say it overclocks well. Uh, it is... yeah, it is It is pretty decent. The cooler is very decent. Like, um, it's just those two little fans. But like, that's a, that's a huge fin stack. And, um, yeah. Uh, this like this card stays cooler than the the 580 DCU2 did on its stock heatsink, which to be fair, this is a 560 Ti 448, and the other thing is a 580, but it is the same GPU and about the same heat load, and it's not like these are closely together and this wins by just a bit. This wins by much. Uh, if y if you don't shoot that much vo that much voltage into it like if you leave it on stock voltage or a little bit above that this doesn't go above 60 degrees well the asus card on complete stock settings got to like 80 or something so yeah there's there's not even a debate this wins this is just better <laughs> and this also does that in a two slot height and it's also a lot shorter and has smaller fans that are more silent what exactly were you thinking, Jesus? <laughs> so yeah, um, this card is pretty pretty nice. I I actually really like it. Um, but my my friend even told me, yeah, if you like it, just keep it. But to be completely honest, I don't know what what to do with it. I I already have two 580s. I, I don't need a 560 Ti 448. Um, so yeah, this is going to him. This is a it's a pretty nice card to overclock with. I I even played some games with it. It it can it can run some games just fine. Like <laughs> you could even play Destiny 2 on this. Like yes, 720p and lower settings, but you can play Destiny 2 on this. And uh, for a 10 year old graphics card, well, actually this came out in 2011. This is a quite new card, uh, so th this is just nine years old. Uh, but yeah, it's not like that's much younger. <laughs> so yeah, um, I I think this is a fun card to mess with, to to play with. Like, the PCB is not too small or too 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 crappy. You can you can do some stuff with it. Like you could um, yeah, you you could cap mod your VRAM. You could cap mod core. Uh, you could f try to mess with the VMEM controller and raise your memory voltage. You could mess with your V-Core controller, raise the V-Core voltage. Uh, what I, whatever else you would desire. Um, like you only have two six pins, but that's not gonna stop you. I um, also don't even know if these are actual six pins, or Nvidia just did. Uh, I mean MSI did the same that uh, AMD did with the RX 480. Because the stock RX480 has a six pin, except it's not. Uh, it just has the form of a six pin, but it's actually an eight pin because it is a six pin with three 12 volts and three ground pins. Whereas a normal six pin would have three uh, 12 volts, 
two ground and one sense pin. So yeah, and then uh, having an eight pin would add another sense and another ground pin. So AMD's six pin on the RX 80 is basically an eight pin with the two sense pins removed. And I don't know how the, what the case is for this. I would think they are by spec, so these are probably real six pins, but like that's that's not an issue. That's not gonna stop you. Uh, the the um, like if, if you make the card uh, if you make the card pull 300 watts, those can handle 300 watts. Uh, like before these melt, a lot of other stuff will melt. So yeah, that's not an issue. So yeah, um, basically. That's everything I wanted to say. Uh, like it's it's not it's not a long video. It's I'm not going to make a full PCB breakdown because my friend is going to do that. It's just like, yeah, here here's here's a graphics card. We we're going to do stuff with it, <laughs> and I I like it actually. I like the PCB, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I c I can't think of anything else to say. So I would just say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed like I I imagine me begging now for for likes and subscribes or whatever people do on YouTube these days whatever um if you enjoyed watching uh, yeah <laughs> whatever uh, I'm my English is falling apart right now so yeah uh videos for uh, videos over uh, <laughs> yeah okay let let's just let's just uh finish that thing so bye